Hello everybody and welcome back to another My Porch Prints tutorials. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be focusing on creating a reversible uh, little herbology book with one half being the healing properties of the plants and the other side being the harmful properties of the plants. So something a little bit different, something a little fun, and I'm hoping that you will enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get started by taking a look at our materials. You're going to be using some of these botanical papers that we have in the shop. And we're actually going to be modifying these down to a smaller size just by printing them two to a sheet. You're also going to need some scissors for cutting and these cardstock uh, craft paper sheets. These are five and a half by seven and a half, and you're going to want nine of them. And to start things off, we're going to take those botanical papers and cut them down to size. Make sure that you get them as even as possible. And you're gonna to wanna to do this twice, printing them out twice, cutting them out twice so that you have identical stacks. And when you're finished cutting everything out, you should have two identical stacks like these. I specifically chose these ones because I had um, some information on them from books I own. So that's why I picked these. And taking eight of our nine uh, craft paper sheets, we're just going to be folding them in half. And it should look like this when you're done. And go ahead and just do that to the other seven sheets. And if you don't have craft paper, you can use something like a manila envelope or a uh, card folder, something like that, and just cut it to size. But it is a little more work, so I would recommend getting these craft sheets if you can. And we're going to be taking our botanical papers and gluing them down to the sheets by lining them up with the center crease. And I sort of eyeballed the space at the top and bottom of the sheet. If you want to measure it, you can. And I found that using a glue stick works best for this project. Uh, other glues tend to sort of leak through things like uh, super glue. So the glue stick definitely was the cleanest and easiest option. Once you've glued everything down, we're going to uh, do the same thing to the other sheets. And I decided to rearrange them all so that they were facing the same direction. So the uh, creased spine would be on the right side and all the images are on the left. This is going to help us later when we do the reverse side. And with the folded spine on the right, I marked down what was the back and what was the cover. This will again just help us stay organized. All right, now that everything is glued down, we're going to take our first sheet and we're going to be folding back the left side edge. And I'm just folding it right where the edge of the botanical paper ends and the brown craft paper begins. And I'm going to fold it both directions because we're going to need this to sort of be a flexible piece, but don't fold it back too many times because uh, you don't want it to rip accidentally. And then for the other side, we're just going to use it when we close, we're going to follow this folded edge and that'll be a guide for where we want to cut on the right side of the sheet. Just 
cutting that part off and now it should be even right along the edge of our folded craft paper. Doing that again to a, another piece, exact same process. And here I'm going to show you how we actually start connecting all of these into somewhat of like a, an accordion fold. So again, just folding that edge down, cutting off the excess. And now we're going to lay them side by side and use this fold to go over the cut edge of our previous piece, like this. And putting some glue along that folded edge, just the folded edge, not on the wide part. We don't want it to accidentally glue that down because we'll be using that later for the reverse side. So only on this thin edge. Just folding it over the cut edge and pressing that down. Give it some pressure, hold it for a second, make sure it's stuck, and there you go. And we're going to just repeat that process, adding it on to the previous page until we get a full booklet. And as it's coming along, you should have something that looks like this. Should be fairly even, pictures on one side, blank on the other. Adding the last page on here. There you go, relatively simple. And you'll have this piece left over on the cover um, from where we folded it earlier. And we're just gonna go ahead and cut this piece off to make sure everything is even. Just like that. And now you should have an even flip book. Of course, mine is a little off because I didn't measure everything perfectly but it's okay, you don't notice it when it's all finished. Just go ahead and flip your book over so that you can see the back cover and open it up. And you'll see that these pages are all blank and we're gonna go ahead and add those other pages uh, that we cut out earlier, the botanical pages. And before I go ahead and glue them down, I'm gonna make sure that they are all in the exact same order. That way it kind of um, emphasizes the reversed effect that I'm going for. And same process, we're just going to glue those botanical pages down to the craft paper by lining them up with the crease, putting them on the left-hand side. And you're going to do that with every single one of them. Now, when you get to the very last one, you'll notice that the back cover, or in this case, it's it's the cover that we marked earlier, uh, doesn't have really a space to glue this. If you glue this botanical sheet onto this craft cover, it won't flip properly and it will ruin the effect. So this is where that spare craft sheet comes in, that ninth sheet. And you're just gonna fold it in half, fold the edge, cut off the extra, same as before, you can glue your botanical sheet in before doing this to help you know where to fold. I just sort of did it by eyeballing it, but it's up to you, either way would work. And instead of attaching it to the cut edge, we're actually going to be attaching it to this folded edge. And that's because we're creating a new cover. So just go ahead and line it up like so. and we're going to glue down the edge same way that we have this entire time. Putting a little on the folded strip and folding it over that crease. And this is going to give us a, another page plus a back cover. However, you'll notice that the 
other cover is still sort of sticking out funny. There's sort of an awkward space here. So we are gonna put some glue on that part marked cover and glue down this added craft sheet to it. Just like this. Pressing it down, make sure it's good and stuck. Now you should have two blank covers still and also have room to add this last image. Let's go ahead and glue that in. And that's it for the basic build of our reversible book. Uh, the next video will be us getting to the fun part, which is decorating and adding the covers. So please join us for that next video. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.